Yo guys, what's up, it's Crips, and welcome to another fashion build video. So today I have for you all the Scarlet Queen Hunter set. Now if you don't know, my last fashion build video was on a Warlock Scarlet Queen set, so I highly recommend going and checking it out after. But yeah, this is going to be on the same lines as that, using the same sort of weapons and Sparrow, but basically for the Hunter instead. And yeah, I'm really pleased with the outcome. There are going to be some alternative pieces you will be able to use. But yeah, anyways, it's time to get straight into the build. So the weapon that goes with this set, just like the Warlock version, is the Fawn with the Heretic Robe Ornament. Now this is currently purchasable from the Eververse Archive. And then as for the Ghost Shell and Sparrow, I would use the Wrestler Shell with the Winchester's Ruin. These are both from the Festival of the Lost Eververse. But you can also use the Eris Morn Shell as well if you do have it. And then as for the ship, I would use the Unfinal Shapes with the House of Marian Shader, as this also flows very well with the set. But yeah, now it's time we move on to the actual set itself. So as for the helmet, I use the Shadow's Mask with the New Monarchy Succession. Now the Shadow's Mask is from the Crown of Sorrows. The Shadow set is an amazing set to use. Unfortunately, it is no longer obtainable as well as the new monarchy succession shader but the house of Mayrin almost creates the exact same effect and you can currently obtain this in the game right now so if you don't know forge armor is in the world pool and basically it has a chance to drop the rasmussen clan house of Mayrin, satu tribe and new age black armory on any of the different pieces so basically just keep an eye out for house of Mayrin. Uh, this is pretty much going to be the main alternative shader then as for the arms uh, we're going with the steeplechase arms from the season of the hunt pass again new monarchy succession now the reason why is because this spiky design matched with the skylight keep as well as like the fawn with all like the spikiness to it then we have the scorned band robes now this is from legendary engrams um, i just love the whole design of it it's chained it's just metal like clamped together and i think it matches the whole theme of like the skylight keep and then also the wraps here match with the wraps on the arms and not in colour but in design they somewhat match uh, which is not bad at all. Then the boots we have the shadow strides easily for me the best like boots you can use for this sort of set. Looks really nice uh, the only bad thing is this purple gem design but this is from the crown of sorrows raid as well and unfortunately is no longer obtainable. And then as for the cloak, we have the Reverie Dawn cloak. Now this is from the Shattered Throne dungeon on the Dreaming City. But yeah, I just love how the cape comes down and splits off the end. Um, I just love this sort of design on the cape. The split off design and just how it hangs over the face. Um, in game in like dark areas, you'll only just be able to see the eyes, which I think is amazing and just really helps like the whole like menacing look of the set. Now I'm going to be moving on to some alternative like armor and shaders. So first I'm going to go over the shader because I know a lot of people are going to struggle with this um, because not a lot of people did play near one. So here's House of Mayrin on the entire set. So it's not too bad whatsoever. Um, it actually pretty much shaders the exact same except it has this moving animation throughout. So alternative cloak shaders you could use Horizon's Blush or conflagrate the new uh, crucible one now the issue you will find is that you're going to be like having a lot lighter reds because of how this cloak shaders another one you could use is crucible prestige or crucible vermilion and then if you do have the glimmer bundle on the archive you can also use noble constant red but yeah that is some uh, like alternative shaders you can use so now i'm going to go over some armor you can use i'm going to stick with house of mayrin now to show some alternate armor as i know most people will probably not have new monarchy succession so the first one we do have is the wing contender now i think this is sort of a good look for this although you could just go over an all red look uh, with this and it can still look really nice and this is from the forsaken uh, crucible which is no longer obtainable then the next one is the invader mask from gambit uh, this don't look too bad whatsoever as you can see now although i'm not the biggest fan of this it could look somewhat good in like most sets possibly with a better cloak uh, something more torn maybe the dreambane cloak or the tangled web here um, we got the illicit invader where's the dreambane we got the shadow um i'm trying to find the dreambane bond oh here it is so you could try something like this as well and another one i personally quite like is the dragonfly regalia mask because of like the patterning on the front here and also the mask is quite hidden um, beneath cloaks so it, you know you could somewhat try and create like a faceless look with it then as for the arms you could use these scaring corvus because the yellow and the gold uh, they're not too far off so you could try and mix them you could even go with the dragonfly for a more like 
bone type of look to your set as you know it is related to the hive or you can even go with the normal wild hunt grasps if you don't have the steeplechase ornament these still don't look too bad and they're from wrathborn hunts and the wing contender is something i quite like as well because of the spiky design and this is from the forsaken crucible and then if you don't mind any bit of fur then the light kin could like somewhat work with the set especially if you use the light kin cloak so you could use this obviously you have to change up the shade on the cloak instead so this time you can use house of mayron and as you could see you could go with something like this for like a scarlet queen look then moving on to some chest plates you could use the scorned hunter vest uh, mainly because of the torn look of it uh, could suit really well then we also have the Icarus Drifter Vest from Legendary Ingrams. And as for the boots, you could use the Wild Hunt um, as well as the Steeplechase. Both of these can look really good. Or maybe even the Leviathan Normal Boots because the strap design matched with the chest plate. Then finally I'm going to look at some cloaks here. So if you wanted to, you could use the Substitutional Alloy as well. Um, although there will be some leaves and moss. Um, that's the only big issue. We've got the Scaring Corvus from the Festival of the Lost. Oh, and I almost forgot to change the helmet, but uh, here it is with a helmet as well. And then you could also use the Holdfast Cloak as well, or even the Wing Contender. Although with Wing Contender, you probably have to use Monarchy Regalia to get the red and gold in there. And then finally, we also have the Steeplechase Cloak uh, with the spiky design and a sort of pattern on the back to match the hive as well. So yeah, that is pretty much my Scarlet Queen Hunter set. If you do like the set, then please drop a like on the video and consider subscribing. And also don't forget to go and check out my Warlock version of this set. And yeah, leave down below in the comments any like future sort of themed sets you want to see. And I could try and like make a build around it for you all. But yeah, thank you all so much for the incredible support recently. I'm going to try and keep up these daily uploads. Although some days I might have to miss out on like some uploads. But yeah, anyways, stay safe and I'll see you on the next video.